Hello everyone, this is Sean, and welcome back to episode number 10 of our Capitalism Lab Sean Co. Let's Play. It is July of 2002. Our company has $106 million, and when we left off, I guess we only have $105 million. I don't know how to read my own writing, it seems. Um, when we left off, uh, I hadn't gone to the grocery store, so I don't quite remember what we were doing at the end there, but I do remember we were making a lot of money. Um, I think we had uh, opened up... Or were we going to open up? I think I was considering opening up um, the uh, convenience stores in Bordeaux, but I was going to open them up in Lisboa instead uh, because I'm already trying to sell other things here in Lisboa. How is the furniture business doing? Uh, we are selling out of sofas, so that's good. Um, I wonder if I could switch. So let's link you to the sofas, there's probably that one right there, and we'll link you to the chairs, right? Chairs, and uh, I guess probably this one. And uh, then we can, uh, maybe we can start inventorying some chairs, and then because we have the higher purchasing. So they lost one purchasing level by switching the product, that's interesting. I wonder if these guys are going to lose a, lose a sales level by changing their product as well. Maybe they're going to drop from 7 down to 6. Yep, sure enough. Okay, well that's good to know. I mean, it doesn't surprise me, um, but uh, it's good to know. So we'll see what kind of difference that makes with, uh, with that. That still ends up being at a higher purchasing level than they were before. Um, and Lisboa just has the one... That okay, we do have two two stores. My R and D of chair is complete. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and let, let that keep rolling. The furniture R and D. Well, I'm gonna leave this as it is as well. We don't really have any advertising going on. How is our product? It looks like our product is doing pretty good. It's got a good strong brand, good strong quality. beating the city by a, a good amount, and the city is probably doing so well based on our own success. So let's uh, let's set up a convenience store over here for sure. Uh, that's a pretty busy corner, 33, that'll do. Um, now I wonder if I can uh, Im uh, import, and I'm gonna change, change these to the other direction. So at least it's a, uh, no, that is the normal, isn't it? So this one's the backwards one. Shows how little I know. Not even like a student of history or anything. That's embarrassing. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's focus on my internal products here. So bringing in eggs and chicken, I guess isn't really gonna, isn't really gonna hurt. Not really what I want to do, but um, you know, it's good to keep the product flowing through. And here we're going to bring in cigarettes, which we still have plenty of. And here we'll bring in cigars, which we have lots of. And here we will advertise, and we will advertise it up. Looks like uh, this radio station is going to be our best bet for our advertising dollar. And uh, we'll bump that up a little bit. The frozen chicken and eggs are going to be a hit. All right, so my rating is four, which is okay. We're gonna pass up that one pretty soon. We've already passed up that one, and once we get this frozen chicken, we can see how that looks. But it looks like our prices are all gonna be reasonably profitable. Very good ratings here. I can increase that one by quite a bit. And uh, the rest of these, the cigarettes are the only one that we need to get the ratings up on, but that's all right. We can, we can hold off as it is for now. And let's uh, let's try to spread these um, spread these convenience stores out over on this side. Uh, you know, actually, um, they want to buy my chair technology, and I will not forget it. I'm not going to sell my chair technology to anybody. Seven million dollars—that's nothing. I make seven million dollars in a very short period of time. That would be amusing to put into another words, but I cannot think of those words at this moment because I'm trying to play a game. Do you mind? Um, 
Ah, now I forgot what I was coming back over here for. Oh yeah, that's right. I was going to, uh, uh, let's go ahead and replace. Yes, there we go. I did that right. Okay, good. So that way when, ah, that's not what I want to do. When, um, when I set up my uh, thing down here, I'm just going to be at the edge of town on this side. I can uh, pretty quickly set up convenience store. So we have a traffic of 18, 24. Oh my, look at that, 60. That's huge. Take it. And we're going to paste it with that one. And we're going to link all cities, Sean Co. Uh, we'll do cigarettes. We're going to link up cigars. We're going to link up eggs, and we're going to link up frozen chicken. There we go. Beautiful. Set the training level. Build another one of those. We got lots of money. Now we're getting to the point where we basically can't spend money as fast as we're earning it. Uh, although I'll find a way for sure. Buy, my, buy myself a radio station here before too long. Um, what is the traffic level over here? 12, that's pathetic. 42, that's pretty good, I'll take that. And we're gonna set up the same uh, same one, use it. Uh, link up those eggs. Link up the smokes. Link up those breasts. Link up those stogies. All set. Do not need to spend any more money on advertising, we're already doing that. And our Lisboan uh, convenience store empire should be good. All right, yep, we can just ignore all on all of that. I'm happy with how those are going. How about our, uh, so paper is about to uh, about to go up, that's good. Cigarettes and cigars are gonna take a little while, but that's uh, to be expected. How are you, you're being 100% utilized, you're being 29% utilized. Right, so well, it's too bad there's no way I can, uh, but what I can do is I can double up on the uh, cigarette production, manufacturing, cross over there, you come into there. There you go, perfect, I don't even need to tell you what to do. Uh, it looks like our supply is outstripping the demand, but it's it's kind of hard to tell. So we'll probably end up switching this over to a cigarette factory. And maybe plug sales into here to get the paper out. Um, but it is too bad that we can't really uh, can't really set up any inventory for these cigarettes. Although I guess warehouses are uh, where you're supposed to put inventory. I don't really know how warehouses work. It does seem like the uh, space is much cheaper in a warehouse. 100000 for the large, and it's 26000 for the large warehouse. So, yeah, I'll have to learn how to use those. All right, let's, uh, let's go back to our primary manufacturing here in Hamburg. Not inventorying any frozen chickens, but we do have a good inventory of eggs. So if I, uh, now you're a process, I need to have sales hooked up to process. I can't really put another chicken could put chicken here and move the eggs directly to sales, but that's not really what I want to do because we're already producing too many eggs anyways. Yeah, I don't see any way to change that around. All right, I'll just leave it the way it is. Still not uh, overproducing on any of these things. Looks like our leather is keeping up though, so that's um, gotta be because of this farm. Did I not, I thought I put down more cattle. Guess not. I think I was gonna let it run a little while to see how it worked out. There we go. 
Might even put in another one. Actually, let's do it. I can always, uh, no, no, no. I can always uh, just, just tear it down later if it turns out we don't need it. And we can set up a extra inventory thing there if we're gonna want that. It kinda depends. I don't know what we're gonna end up uh if we're gonna end up with any inventory. Leather seems to be in high demand. Mm. Uh, I wanted to go to this factory over here, probably would have been faster to use the other hotkeys and uh, So these guys are being utilized at 100%, so there's just not much they can't produce any faster. Um, but are they constantly being utilized at 100%? Because like when that letter runs out, it seems like their utilization would drop. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, see like right now when they're standing idle, Yep, they somehow have a stock. Okay, well, they must have other tasks to do when they don't have any uh, any stuff going out. Uh, you know, one thing we haven't checked on for a while is our stock investment. So let's uh, see, like, look at this target strike. You know what? I'm going to divest myself. I've been holding on to this target strike money or uh, stock for a long time. Guess I'm not going to divest all at once, but I'm going to start selling it off. Serpentine is still just killing me. That was a terrible investment, um, but I'll take the loss. Guess I don't. You know what am I gonna do? We have plenty of money, anyways. But it is a shame to think that that was uh, like we could be double the size. Uh, oh well, oh, boy, look at uh, what our loop loop ink is just killing it. They are everywhere. I've, oh, and they're the, they're my competitor in the cigars and cigarettes. All right, yeah. How uh, how is my advertising paying off? By the way, when it comes to cigarettes and stuff, it doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to compete very well with these guys because uh, they're so effing huge. Little little annoying. Can I turn off the? Uh, nope. Oh boy, that's even more annoying. All right, there's my. Nope, not the supermarket. I want the convenience store. Squeezed in the middle there. There we go, convenience store. So the city has still got a better overall brand than me. We are doing pretty good on eggs, though. Um, I'm not really making a whole lot of money on them. And frozen chickens. We are the market leader on frozen chickens, it looks like. Um, we can... Uh, actually, we have a pretty good... Pretty good setup overall. Let's go ahead and raise our prices a little bit, I think. And uh, cigars and cigarettes, that's... So we're spending a lot of money trying to build up that brand, but it is not doing us a lot of good. Uh, so that's weird. Our, our, oh, they're selling them for so cheap. Jeez, how can you afford that? That's okay, though. I'm going to have a superior product, so... Uh, you know, do it, do as you want. Um, and cigarettes here, cigarettes, it's going to take me a while to catch up on branding with the cigarettes, but, uh, they are catching up overall. So, uh, I'm happy about that. And we're still making a healthy profit on them. Um, I don't know that I can, uh, increase the, uh, but what I can do is I can increase the spending at one of these stores that's advertising everything. We'll just jump it up to, uh, uh, quarter million actually usually there's very little downside in spending all your money on advertising so i may as well bump that up to the max and what do we got in our furniture store here let's uh, bump you guys up to the max as well so we can start increasing our increasing our um, uh, margins on these things bordeaux has got um uh it's very easy to figure out what bordeaux has you just click on that there you go so uh they want to advertise more too this shop is making money. It's not making huge money, but it's doing all right. And um, over here, let's um, find, oh, okay, here. There we go. There's a store that's advertising, so you can max it out. 
and uh, we have a furniture shop as well, right? I'm sure I have a furniture shop that's advertising. There we are. Let's bump your advertising up. And let's take a look at prices in this town. Prices. So we are uh, very strong here. Uh, we can raise our prices, looks like, quite a bit, and we don't really have to worry about that. Still keep going up. And advertising is really going to help us out in that area. Um, that's the bed. Let's look at the chair. Chair, we're very competitive, so I don't really want to mess. Oh, we're competing with ourselves, so I don't really need to worry about that. Let's uh, raise it up as long as we keep it. We are very high right now on uh, our overall rating. Great, still way above the uh, city average. Um, and uh, that was the chair. So let's look at, I must have skipped over the couch. Or is the couch the one that we're competitive on? No, nope, we are way ahead on the couch as well. So we're at 65. We can probably go up. Can we go up a full click there? Jeez, we can keep going up after that. Okay, we're gonna leave it at this for, but that's that's pretty good. Um, and how about for the convenience store? I don't have convenience stores in Lisboa. No, nope, yep, this is Lisboa. So let's get out, and we're going to go up, up, and that's a convenience store. And uh, what are our prices like here? We're doing very well. For cigarettes, we can raise the prices. Actually, we'll do that. Do one more. Perfect. Um, eggs. Eggs, we might want to lower our prices a little bit. A little bit more. There we go. And cigars. Cigars are good. I'm going to lower the prices a little. Uh, although we're going to quickly be making good money on those. Now, is there a way to where I can get it to only show the labels for like where I don't have to see everybody else's firm's label and like I only see my own firm's label. If there's a way to toggle that, like a hotkey for it or something, I mean, there, there probably is. I should just look in the hotkeys. Uh, I don't know that I can really do that right now while I'm playing the game. Um, I don't want to uh, uh, have it uh, stop recording or crash or anything like that. Like I lost a video doing that once. It was very frustrating. So I don't want to have to re-record it. I don't even think I saved at the beginning of this game. Oh, one thing I haven't been doing is... Uh, excuse me. One thing I haven't been doing is taking screenshots uh, to use in the game for the title card. And uh, I probably should be doing that, too. All right. We've got a pretty good brand going on here and uh, we're, we're making good money actually I'm gonna go bump it up a little bit more let's see what this is that's yeah, just tell me that my paper R&D is complete and yeah, we can ignore that I'm not really worried um, that was Lisboa we were just adjusting all of our prices on right and uh, our bed factory is is uh, working its way through the inventory so that's great um, and we're slowly improving the quality coming out of this factory. So that's good. I feel good about that. We, we were kind of wasting some money there. Uh, we speaking, speaking of money, we've got a lot of money all of a sudden. Um, our stock, uh, we should try to buy back some of our stock because it is at a fairly low point right now. Uh, who can I buy it from? Can I buy it from Duo Power Darts? Will they sell me any? Um, in theory, they could sell me all of it for $70 million. Of course I accept that. That is a good deal. Great. And uh, do I want to spend any more money on buying back stock? Let's see what this guy will do. There you go. I accept that. Yeah. Actually, let's see if he'll buy, uh, if he'll sell me another. Great, I accept. Wow, they're selling for really cheap. Like only 1.5 times its value. That's good. So I'm up to about 70% ownership. So I like that. I'd still like to get to 100, uh, but that's going to take a while. Uh, but if these guys are so keen to sell, maybe I can get uh, some more of these uh, people to sell. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I want to do that. Well, let's... Um, 
There we go. And let's see what they, they don't want to sell any stock to me. How about you, Bill? Yeah, except three million for, oh, I don't have six million, forget it. Uh, I need to reduce that down to there. There we go, perfect. I should be able to afford that, except. And maybe I'll do it again. Great. Got to me, has me over 70% now. Um, anything else that uh, Sean Co would probably do well to invest in? What is What do I own? I own Duo Power and Serpentine. So target strike is at 19. I missed my opportunity to sell there. Checker waters might be worth looking into. What is that? Is it? Che oh, I keep calling it different things. And of course, it won't tell me. Here. Nope. Oh well. Um, all right. Let's get get out of there. So uh, what are we doing? We are just making money right now. Uh, how about, uh, w so what is our, what's our supply like on these chickens at this point? We should be able to see. So no inventory on them. So we are selling out. The supply, uh, yeah, I mean, those don't look like they match up exactly right, but I, I think that's a, So I wonder if I would be smarter to switch all of this to eggs and just make this an egg factory and then uh, start up a second one and make it entirely a frozen chicken factory. And then I wouldn't have to worry about... Uh... And you know what? I should start up that. I should start that up in China. So yeah, why am I why am I hesitating? Let's just do it. Select product eggs. Select inventory inventory there, and you're gonna uh, you're gonna shut down. So we're all producing eggs. Let's go ahead and pause it. We're gonna go to Chengdu. We're gonna build farm large farm. Build it right there with all the other properties, and uh, we'll do this one in a much more Straightforward. As a matter, I'm sure there's a uh, template for it. Um, what's going on? Oh, predefined. Um, frozen chicken. Great. Uh, only one layout found, so um, is it going to be the one that I want? Probably not. Yeah, close that down. Of course, that's not the one that I want. Exit. I'll just set it up the standard uh, standard way, livestock raising. All right, uh, I'll take care of this uh, in between episodes. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. Uh, if you have, you should click on the like button. Oh, I got a flashing red thing down there too. Uh, that's going to be exciting to figure out what that's, what that's about. Uh, click on the like button and uh, leave some comments in the comment area if you have suggestions and thoughts and whatnot. Um, I hope you've uh, enjoyed watching. I do appreciate everybody who does. Please keep in mind that I made these videos up in a block on Sunday. We're getting close to the, getting close to the ones that I'm going to be up to date, and I'll probably be doing the next block on the Sunday next Sunday. Uh, so I'll have read through your comments and stuff, and hopefully do better. Uh, I'm really enjoying this, and uh, I think if uh, this Let's Play keeps doing so well, uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm pretty sure we're going to do another series. Um, uh, so I appreciate all the viewers and, uh, keep, uh, keep it going. Uh, see you next time, everybody. Bye.